Ugh, spaceports all smell the same. Engine exhaust, coolant fluid, and spacers who haven't bathed in a week. Let's get out of this stink. Whatever the rest of Drummond Cost is like, the air has got to be fresher than in here. I would have figured you'd been to Drummond Cost before. Braden and I moved around a lot when we first got together, but we never made it here. Just a reminder, this is an imperial world, which means rules, rules, and more rules. If we tweak the local authorities, they can make life really hard. My goal is to join the Great Hunt. That's it. Still, let's try to keep a low profile. Come on, the Mandalorian Enclave is in the Citadel. Our contact is someone named Chris DeMarcon. That must be the Citadel. That's the center of the universe as far as the Empire is concerned. How big do you think those flags are? And then I told him, you think that's cold? You should see what I did to the Gamorrean. I never saw a Rodian run so fast in my... Whoa. Hello, handsome. You here to sweep me off my feet? We are here for the Great Hunt. We've been sponsored by Nemro the Hut. Oh, what's this? Got yourself a pet? Little sister, maybe? It's not enough to hold a real man's interest, anyway. Mako's my backup. That's all you need to know. Didn't mean anything. It's just rare we get any fresh meat in here worth putting on the grill. Can you change the subject already? Oh, don't get your blaster jammed. You probably ain't gonna like what I'm about to tell you. But there's nothing I can do about it, understand? There's one spot left open in the Great Hunt. And over three dozen hunters who got sponsorships. Those other hunters can go home. That spot is mine. It's yours if you can get it. Lots of folks will be thinking the same thing, though. The Huntmaster himself will explain how we're gonna sort things out. Head into the main room, and show some respect. When the Huntmaster's done talking, come on back in here. I'll be handling you from here on out. Huntmaster is about to speak. Pay attention and show some respect for once in your lives. <coughs> you heard the Huntmaster. You're competing for the last spot in the Great Hunt by taking down three bounties on Droman Kos. You expect us to hunt here with Imperials crawling all over us and Sith? Never met anybody who's blaster proof. The jungles here are secluded and dark. We'll have all the privacy we need. For all you overblown, useless, no talent cowards, we installed a handy exit door. Use it now! The rest of you, the real hunters, go see your handlers. They'll get you oriented to the planet and assign you three unique bounties. Everyone who takes down all three of their bounties wins a spot in the final melee. 
Anyone who doesn't get all three is out. Hunting on Drummond Koss? That's suicide. I'm grabbing the first shuttle out of here. I suggest you do the same, friend. Do I look like a coward to you? Now you look like a kid with fire in his eyes. The kind who gets himself killed. I'm done here. May your quarry fall before you, Hunter. Well, what are you standing around for? Back to your handler. That's Krista for you, new blood. A dozen cowards just scurried out of here. Probably won't stop till Droman Kaus is light years behind him. You understand the basics, right? Three bounties, hardest targets on Droman Kaus. Gotta get all three to qualify for the final melee. Enough standing around. Who are my bounties? Well, let's see who your first target is. Whoa, this can't be right. You've got enemies among the Mandalorians or something? Just Taro Blood, the Mandalorian who killed Brayden. What'd he do? I'm used to having the cards stacked against me. I wouldn't wish this bounty on anybody. Gotta play the hand you're dealt, though. The target's a Republic noble named Valtaka. He got captured during an Imperial raid, brought back here, and sold into slavery by mistake. Why was selling him into slavery a mistake? He should have been ransomed, but Altaka wasn't properly identified when he got captured. Altaka's slave group was building a big old statue in the jungle. The slaves rebelled and took over the site. Nobody can get in there. We don't even know if he's still alive. If he is, the family will pay big. Easy jobs bore me. You've got confidence. I give you that. The slaves got themselves a tent camp near that statue they never finished. If Altaka's still kicking, he's probably somewhere in there. Before you go, meet your new best friend. The S-86K full-gauge carbonite armor upgrade. You can't shoot a fella with this while he's springing around. It's too slow to charge up. But once that fella ain't resisting, say, after a good long beating, the S-86K will freeze him for transport. I do love getting new toys. I expect you'll have plenty of chances to play with that one. You find that Republic noble fella and claim that first bounty, then hurry it on back here as fast as you can. your message, I could scarcely believe it. We have found each other after all these years. Oh, looks like a love letter from an Imperial noble, no less. Juicy. Pay attention. This may help us. Righto. It must have been the Force that brought you here to drum and curse, dear Altaka. As for your predicament, fear not. I have friends in high places. And, for the right price, they have agreed to help me. When the slaves attempt their pitiful revolution, a man will come to you dressed in rags. He will bring you to me. I shall say you are my missing brother. We will be Lord and Lady Dakar. I'm afraid I cannot get you off-world and back to your beloved family, but I promise to make your every moment here a joy. Our lifestyle will be the envy of all, and we'll attend parties at the Nexus Room every night. Be ready to join me, my love. Wait, so the lady is his lover, but now he's posing as her brother? That's disgusting. Sounds like the Nexus room is where we'll find these weirdos. Less talk, more action. Let's go meet this Lord and Lady Daka. Lead on, boss.
Need some help? Well, this place looks lively. I guess the Imperials have something that passes for fun after all. There, sir. Just as I said. That looks like him, all right. Bounty Hunter. I am Sergeant Warlax of the Imperial Navy. You are commanded to hand over all your weapons and gear immediately. You're a funny man, Sergeant. Think of that joke all by yourself. Don't get cute, off-world scum. Remember, you're an outsider here. I can shoot you just as easily as bring you in. Sergeant, Tarot Blood here. Have you completed my little errand yet? Blood, you steaming pile of filth! Blast it! I told you not to call on this channel! Since when does the Imperial Navy take its orders from Mandalorians? Oh, this is ridiculously tiresome. He's still alive? What is wrong with you, Sergeant? Uh, sir? Who's that guy? Blood, I'll talk to you later. Ignore the chatter, men. Let's take this hunter in. I don't know what's going on here, Sarge, but I know it stinks. Yeah, either you cut us in on this deal, or we walk. You can't spend credits if you're all dead. That makes a whole lot of sense. Let's get out of here. I'm with you. Cowards! The rest of you, attack! <laughs> Yes, may I help you with something? Darling, please don't speak to that filthy vagabond. It's clearly not supposed to be here, and we shouldn't let ourselves look like we approve. Come, let us get a drink. Not much of a family resemblance between you and your brother. We, we, we had different mothers. Yes, that's right. We're only half-siblings. Uh, unless I'm misremembering. Stow it, darling. Just feel the smug knowledge radiate from him. We knew this might happen eventually. Yeah, only so long you can keep dating your brother before something goes wrong. So you know our little secret. What does an insignificant creature like you want? What would make you dare threaten the noble? I was promised a pile of credits to take him back to the Republic. You mean back to my family, don't you? But I thought, uh... You... you told me I was trapped here. That I would have to forget my family, that this... this charade was the only way. Inside voice, darling. I may have exaggerated a bit, but hasn't it been nice here? The parties, the late nights, the intrigues and such? You witch! Keeping me here as your plaything when I could have been home with my sisters and dear mother. Ugh, you can be such a whiny pain. It's a wonder, your nobility. Let us make a new deal, bounty hunter. No deals. You give me El Taka now. Oh, stop testing my patience. The only reason you aren't dead is because I'd rather not cause a scene. Should have thought of that before you became a Republic noble lover. Ouch. I'm getting very close to wanting you dead. My darling, my lovely El Taka. Wouldn't you rather stay here with me than run home to your pathetic Republic family? What? Of course not. You treat me like a pet, and this planet is disgusting. In fact, I'd rather... Yes, yes, you've made your tiresome viewpoint clear. Then here is what I propose. I assume Al Tucker's family will pay less for just his body. Kill him, show me the slip, and I'll compensate you the difference. Uh, what? You want him to kill me? You think I'd let you walk away and be someone else's pet? Never. This keeps getting more disturbing. She's insane. Please, take me back to my family. It would mean so much to them, to my poor mother. I don't kill people unless I have to. You've made a very big mistake here today. 
Now take this thing and leave. Your kind does not belong here. You don't scare me, you pathetic witch. Just leave. Watch your pinky. Wommy Toppy. there, Hunter. Competition out there is something crazy. A couple of hunters died in the jungles. Big Trandoshan got arrested by the Imperials. And you found yourself an unfindable Republic noble. His family was plenty generous with their live bounty. I need three total bounties to get in the melee, correct? Afraid the rules will change again? Not yet, anyway. Still three to win. Your second bounty is a bit of a mystery. Apparently, whoever's stacking the deck against you is going to keep right on stacking. Hardly surprising. What I got here is a classified red flag request from Imperial Command. No details, just flashy warnings and a contact. Admiral Frabal, Imperial Navy. I don't see what the big deal is. You haven't dealt much with Imperials, have you? They make huts look downright honest. Here's the slip. For balls in the city, not all that far a stroll. Go get him. This is the office of Admiral Fraubal of the Imperial Navy. Do you have business here? I'm here to see the Admiral. Let me in. I'm afraid the Admiral is not seeing vagrants today. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy. Let me in there, now. I really couldn't care less what you... What's all that racket out there, soldier? There's a quarrelsome individual here, Admiral. Rather dirty, too. Quarrelsome? You're as weak as you are, stupid. I requested a mercenary from the Mandalorians. Send that person in immediately. Yes, sir. You may go in now. I'll bet you get a demerit for that, Lieutenant. <laughs> You're terrible. The Admiral is waiting. Come in, mercenary. I apologize if my secretary caused you grief. He is of low birth and his intelligence reflects it. I'm afraid many of our Imperial soldiers are hopeless with delicate tasks. This is, of course, why I asked for a professional. That was good thinking. Ah, yes, just so. I have every faith in the Mandalorian Enclave's ability to get things done discreetly. My daughter has become something of a liability to me. I want you to kill her. That's something you don't hear every day. Then I'll assume you're newly arrived to Droman Cass. Things work a bit differently here. My daughter was born Force-sensitive and trained to be Sith. A great honor for our family. Unfortunately, my daughter's master is one Lord Grathen, a madman who is now disgraced in the eyes of the Dark Council. Why not just get her a new master? It's outside of my control. The Sith manage their own affairs, the rest of us merely suffer the consequences. If Lord Grathen's compound is raided and my daughter captured or killed, every member of her family will suffer. This is Sith politics. In the best case scenario, I lose my rank and position. In the worst... You'd get squashed like a bug? An inelegant way to phrase it, but yes. Lord Grathen is a paranoid madman. His compound is built to withstand a siege, but a lone infiltrator will take them by surprise. My daughter is somewhere inside Lord Grathen's compound. Her name is Veretta. You will know her as she resembles me closely. I'll handle this, quiet and quick. Hang on, I've been running some data. Turns out Renegade Sith Lord followers rack up death marks like crazy. 
Lord Grathen's top people all have prices on their heads. It'd be a shame to let those bounties go to waste. And we might need those extra credits to gear you up for the big melee. Remember, discretion is essential. Do not let yourself be captured. Good luck. What have we here? You're not even a Mandalorian, are you? When Lord Grathen's spy said my father contacted the Mandalorian Enclave, I expected they'd at least send me a real live Mandalorian. I'm afraid I'm a tad disappointed. You're gonna be more than disappointed. <laughs> Wonderful. I love that line. Someone's been filling your head with garbage. Can't die like this, falling to some common bounty hunter. Everything Lord Grothen told me was a lie. I've been living in a dream world. It can't end like this. It can't. I feel for you, girl. Close your eyes now. I just can't believe it. Reports of the raid on Lord Grathen's estate are pouring in. I trust you were successful in your endeavor. My daughter, Veretta, is... I'm sorry. This can't be easy for you. Thank you, Hunter. Empathy from one of your class level is surprising. Here, take your credits and go. You'll understand if I say I never want to see the face of my daughter's murderer again. You may not want to go looking in any mirrors for a while. Just go. Come on. He needs to be alone with what he's done. Second bounty is done. Just one more, and I'm in the melee. Right you are. And competition is heating up. That little green girl, Iopian Rattle, finished all her bounties. Heard she poisoned an Imperial Moth. Lucky we didn't get that one. Not sure how we'd work it out. Now, I ain't allowed details on whatever you were scrapping for Admiral Fabal. But I got a clearance note says it was duly scrapped. Nice payday, too. Professionals don't talk about their clients. I hear you. Less I know, the better. 
Here we go. Bounty three. I call it, someone's got a serious hate for my hunter. Top secret, crazy, red flag covered. This one's for a Captain Metal in Imperial Intelligence. No other information. Looks like I'm working for spies this time. Better not want us to poison someone. Stay careful. Get this one done and don't get yourself dead in the process. What the? Oh, right. The bounty hunter. Glad you could make it. You nervous, hunter? Parked in the middle of Imperial Intelligence and all. I can say one word, or touch one button, and you'd disappear forever. Poof. Gone. Just like that. No one would even dare to ask what happened to you. That's a lot of responsibility for one man. I knew you'd understand. Makes your head spin, doesn't it? I never signed up for this cloak and dagger stuff. I was a regular soldier. Then one day, I put together a covert op raid that goes a little too well. And bam, I'm in Imperial Intelligence. Look, what I'm saying is the stuff that goes on in these halls is insane. And all of it is crazy hush-hush. So what I'm going to tell you has to stay just between you and me. Got it? My price tag always includes the cost of discretion. Here's the deal. There's a huge ancient Sith temple on Drummond Cuss. Used to just sit there being scary. Now the place is crawling with Sith sorcery, and it's been ordered a no-go zone for everyone. Naturally, we sent a team in. My commander led that team. Nobody came back. We can't report any of them dead without reporting the mission, which puts me in a bind. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to the temple? Because you've got warrior instincts, like me. If I can't prove my commander's dead, I can't take over his spot, which means an ugly power vacuum. I'm hiring you to enter that temple and find the team's ID cards, especially my commander's. I need those IDs to create more acceptable deaths for them. It's a done deal. I tell you, I envy you getting to do the fun part. Make sure you find an Imperial commander named Gargan. Can't imagine there'll be more than one corpse in a temple wearing commander stripes. Grab all the team's ID cards and double time it back here quietly. I can still hear them talking. I cut off my holo receiver, but I can still hear them. If I lose it, please don't leave me down here. What is this in front of me? Another worshipper? Who braves the flames of the altar of horror to stand in front of Lord Barrel Slathorn, Lord of the Sith? This tomb has driven you insane. Lord. Insane? No. Do not seek madness, but fear and hatred, the tools of the Sith. If you're not an Imperial commander, then what's that ID card for? What madness do you speak? I have no... Oh, that. It seems the ID of some Imperial commander I must have slain has stuck to my robes. 
Do you wish to have it? A token of your visit with the great Lord Barrel Slackborn. That works for me. It is settled then. A token for you. Go forth now and spread word to all who worship lesser lords. Lord Barrel Slathborn is mightiest among all mighty lords of the Sith. You got the IDs? Fantastic. Let me see. That's Commander Gargans, all right. What was it like in the Dark Temple? I've yet to hear anything that didn't sound like pure raving. You wouldn't believe me about that place if I told you. Huh. Still wish I could have got him myself. Would have saved me some unpleasantness. Listen to me. Unpleasantness. I'm even starting to talk like a spy. Friend. Remember when I said Sith didn't want anyone in the Dark Temple? I remember all right. Well, you can probably guess the rest. I can't risk the Sith ever finding out you went into their precious Dark Temple, which means you're now a liability. I apologize. This isn't the way a fighting man should die. Guards! <laughs> went wrong, didn't it? Got a hole in my gut. I'm not going to beg. Turning on someone who did their job is wrong. We both know it. Here's your writ. It tells the Mandalorians you did your job. And here's your pay. The rest is up to you. Are you gonna send more men after me? To do what? Add to the body count. My men are no match for you. How about I make a more concrete apology? I'll send you some top-of-the-line weaponry as soon as you're out of here. That work for you? I'm glad this didn't have to get personal. It never was. Believe me, you're everything a man should be. I wish I'd... Well, it's too late for regrets. What's done is done. Good hunting to you. You're alive! Some Mandalorian big shot named Taro Blood said you were dead. They're about to start the melee without you. Do I look dead to you? No, you look all sorts of alive and fantastic. All mighty and terrible and... <laughs> Sorry, distracted myself. All the other hunters who survived are already inside. Get in there! Back in a flash. That's the spirit. And the last hunter left standing joins the great hunt. Simple as that. All weapons are allowed, but you fight alone. No assistance. And it looks like we have a latecomer. Somebody made up a story I was dead. Your competitors were relieved to hear it. Too bad for them, huh? Huntmaster, will you do us the honor? We all heard tales of your exploits, Hunter. Perhaps I'll turn them into a song to commemorate your death. 
I'll do the same. You prefer ballads or war chants? I prefer to win. I'd wish you luck, but it wouldn't help. So I'll just say goodbye. Enough! You hunters are the best that the galaxy's goons and thug lords could send us. Now show us which one of you will join the great hunt. Fight! Hunter remains. <laughs> Quite a show you put on. Blasted fun to watch. How do you feel, Hunter? Feelings are for women and children. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Huntmaster. <laughs> This is simply ridiculous. I mean, really. This needs to stop right now. Are we starting a hunt already? No! No! No unsanctioned kills in the Great Hunt! You see? That's a perfect example. I object to this farce. This ignorant thug does not deserve to enter the Great Hunt. His credentials are a lie, fabricated by his little gutter rat of a sidekick. He deserves no honors. You lying, cheating, murdering scum! We know this hunter's history, blood. The Huntmaster has ruled. You fools! This is a place of honor, a competition of elites. Mandalore will hear of this. I sure hope you're not gonna cry. Enough! Before this great hunt is over, I will have your skull in my hands. Well, the great hunt just got way more interesting. Sorry to interrupt, Huntmaster. Please continue. Hunter? What happens when I win this contest? Fame, glory, wealth, and a chance to work with Mandalore, the greatest leader in the galaxy. You'll be hunting targets spread across the galaxy. There'll be at least one other hunter going for them, too. You not only have to take down your target, you have to eliminate the other hunters. What if I don't get to my targets first? Then you'll have hunters gunning for you instead of the other way around. <coughs> Your handler, Krista, will fill you in on the rest of the details. She's waiting for you. What a thrashing! The other handlers are all bug-eyed jealous you won. Now, on to the Great Hunt. I expect you want to hear about your targets. Tell me everything I need to know. Here's how it's gonna work. First, you're getting a starship. How's that gonna happen? Well, let's just say you're not quite done here on Droman Kass. On your ship's computer, you'll access two holo recordings, both with specific details on who and where you hunt. Go on, I'm listening. Each target will have another hunter assigned to it. You have to locate that rival and take him out, too. Maybe we'll get lucky and Tarot Blood will be on our first target. Now, about your ship, there's a tradition for new hunters. 
you gotta steal one for yourself. I can already tell this is gonna be a blast. That's what life is for a hunter. Now let's find you that perfect ship, yeah? Gotcha. I know one that belongs to one of them so-called importer types. Fast, smooth, and roomy. I'll pull together your holo recordings for the great hunt targets and transmit them when you hit space. Meantime, head to the spaceport. Get past whatever guards are around, steal your ship, and hit the hyperlanes. My trigger finger needs some exercise. <laughs> Still? You've been working it non-stop since you got here. Your first round of targets are on Balmora and Narshada. Good luck to you, Hunter. All right, you disgusting pile of puke. Drop your weapon and kiss the floor. This is one starship that's not getting stolen on my watch. You hear me, scum? Can you repeat all that into this barrel? You filthy off-world virus. I've had three ships stolen this year by the Mandalorians and their unwashed cohorts. Of course, not all Mandalorians are bad. Taro Blood was nice enough to tell me about this little tradition of yours. If you want to die, I'm not arguing. Karakimi, Anikag Nikag, Kanyak Gak Akiguamjam. You heard the man? At him! Rules or no rules, Taro Blood dies the next time we see him. Right? That scum is living on borrowed time. Oh, I hate this. I don't want to feel this way about anyone, but I just... I want to make him pay. Don't worry, Mako. It's gonna be all right. Don't get all mushy on me. I was just saying is all. We'd better get moving. We've got a great hunt to win, right? <laughs> 